my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jay and this is going to be a general reading for Scorpio for the month of August 2019. This is for love and personal transformation or spirituality. Um, thank you again for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Please leave me a good nature comment in the comment box below. For personal readings, healings, or sound baths, please check in the description box below. Okay, we're going to hop into Scorpio for 2019 and just tapping into the energy. Okay, we're going to pull a, a card for um, some of the things that some of you Scorpios are personally going through right now. Okay, I've already pre-shuffled all of my cards. Just want to give it one shuffle for the camera. Okay, and just tapping into the energies for Scorpio, August 2019. What messages, spirit, guides, angels of the Most High? Thank you. What messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of August 2019? I'm, I'm feeling an energy of some of you taking some things personally. Okay, I'll, this, these are too many cards. Um, I'm going to choose this card here. It's uh, Inner Temple Devotion. Tune into... The portal of your heart, the portal of your heart. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you are going through some sort of personal transformation uh, phase right now. Some of you may be feeling a bit stuck, whether it's personally or in your relationships, or again, moving forward um, in trying to be um, and, and try to establish yourself in a relationship. Okay. Okay, so the first card that's coming out is the Judgment card, okay? Some of you are having to make a decision about something. I feel like um, some of you are actually um, like stuck in the past, like I feel like old cycles. Some of you are, are kind of repeating some patterns right now and it could be personally or it could be within your relationship. And I feel like you're kind of just stuck in this moment. You're kind of asking yourself, like, what am I not doing? What am I not seeing? Um, how do I move forward to this? So I, I invite you to tap into your inner guidance because it's there and it's wanting to take you into a new, a whole new dimension um, of living. We also pulled the Queen of Wands here. Spirits, what else do you have for my Scorpios for August 2019? Okay, so here we have two major Arcana cards. We have the Judgment and the Magician card here. Okay, so we're going to focus on those two just for now, okay, because these are some major life things that are happening right now. You could be experiencing things from the, th from the past, thoughts, feelings, um, <clears throat> Emotions that are coming up, um, again, whether it's personal or love, you can apply this to either one, your personal life or your love or your relationship. Um, but I feel like you're having to make a decision about something or someone. Um, and maybe some things have, again, like resurrected. Some things have come up. Some issues have come up that you need to actually sort through. Um, and then we have this magician card here again, which is um, connected to Mercury. Okay, the planet of Mercury, uh, which is very fast moving. So I feel like you have the ability to um, really tap into the energies that are there for you right now in order to create whatever it is that you're wanting to create. See, with the magician, you have all the tools that you need um, to move forward. Like it's very, um, I feel like you're very resourceful. When I think about the sign of Scorpio, it's like, um, um, they're very like determined. Like I feel like this is like an energy of determination and really seek going after what you seek. And for some of you, this could be related to career, um, that drive and that passion for really taking it to the next level, really stepping out. I feel like the energy that I'm picking up right here too, is that, um, 
Some of you are really trying to step out of your comfort zone and I'm feeling like that's why this judgment card is here too is because always are falling by always are are always are fall are falling for you and I feel like it might be leaving you in a place of um stagnation but some of you are really really ready to move past that okay so we have the queen of wands in the middle okay because I feel like She's right in the middle of this, right? So we have the Judgment card, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Magician. So th again, this energy, um, this uh, Queen of Wands could also be connected to like a, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius here, that energy. But I feel like you're in the middle, again, you're in the middle of trying to, to make a decision on which way you want to go. It's like she keeps the way that it's here. She keeps looking back, okay? She keeps looking back at the past and some of the things that have resurrected or some of the things that um, she or he needs to deal with. Remember that um, just because there's a female or a male on the card doesn't mean that I'm specifically speaking about that gender. Gender is fluid, okay? So you can apply this however um, you would like. You can interchange, um, interchange whatever you need to interchange. Uh, the sexes, the genders, um, the energies, one second I can be talking about you and that the second I can be talking about someone else who is energetically connected to you. So I feel like this with this Queen of Wands, I feel like you keep looking back at some of the things that happened in the past and you're wanting to move forward, but you're feeling a bit stuck. OK, and this magician comes in and, and says that um, this energy here is saying like you you have the resources, you have everything you need to move forward. OK. Because this temp, this card of inner temple, I feel like you're really exploring, okay? And so probably some of these things are things that you're just trying to let go of. You're actually exploring things. I'm feeling this energy that's coming up too of like um, past thoughts and memories that either may have been buried or things that you never thought really twice about is now starting to come up for you, um, whether it's through your thoughts or in your dream state. I feel like that energy is very present with you right now. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that we need to, what's the, what else do we need to, what else does Scorpio need to know? Okay. All right. All right, here we go. So we have the Page of Wands, okay, connected to uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse, which is connected to a Scorpionic energy, which is actually you right and then we have the three of pentacles in reverse as well which is connected to an earth sign it could be Taurus, virgo or capricorn okay so i'm feeling like there is uh, information that could be coming in for you really quickly you could also be traveling here with this uh, page of wands here this is a card of travel but this is a card of fast moving this is a card of contemplation i feel like you're thinking about something okay not sure what it is. Let's find out. Let's see if we can get a little clarity around what's coming up for you. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here for Scorpio? What does this Page of Wands mean for Scorpio? Yeah, just feel like you're in deep contemplation about something. Um, and I feel like um, the energies that I'm picking up for you right now is that um, there's again you're a really really good manifester so with this card and i with this page of wands i'm feeling the energy of you being a really good manifester and the things that you're wanting are going to come in really fast for you because again remember we have this magician card here as well which is you're the creator of your world right so as soon as you put your mind to it it's actually going to come in for you okay and clarifying that is the knight of coins so some of you can be thinking about um, a career move, okay. Some of you, some of you could be thinking about finances, okay. So this Knight of Wands, Wands comes in with an offer for you. So I feel like you could have an opportunity that comes in really fast, um, as long as you stay uh, strategic in uh, in your thinking and in your planning and have the right goal set, okay. And I keep hearing from Spirit right now is to. Make sure you're setting realistic goals, okay, and not putting too much, um, 
not ambition because we know I'm, I'm feeling like you are really, really ambition, amb ambitious when it comes to what it is that you're wanting to create for your life, whether it be in career finances and really taking it to the next level. But um, setting realistic goals and sh uh, setting short term goals. OK, think about the small steps on how to get to that larger goal. So you can set a large goal, right? This large scale goal. But spirit is saying, like, be able be open to taking the baby steps. OK, to getting there. OK, we have the seven of cups in reverse, which is a scorpionic energy here. OK, so I'm I'm feeling like um, maybe some of the options that you are presented with, maybe this maybe these are something that you don't want or something that you are contemplating you need a little bit more time on contemplating okay and then i have this three of pentacles in reverse i'm feeling like some of you are actually ready to step out and to become an entrepreneur okay i feel like some of you are kind of like tired of working for the man basically and you're moving into an energy of wanting to create some sort of opportunity for yourself so I do know, I do feel that the opportunity is there, okay, with this page of wands and this um, knight of cups, I mean, this knight of coins clarifying that. This opportunity, again, set yourself up a business plan, set yourself up some goals. Um, you can set those large, those large scale goals, but remember to, to take baby steps towards that goal because moving into entrepreneurial um, entrepreneurship is is very fun and exciting, but it's also very complicated as well. It can be very, very complex topic and a very complex act to um, hop into without some sort of plan. So I feel like um, maybe there will be opportunities for you to collaborate with other people, but you have to think about, I feel like you have to come with some sort of, again, some sort of strategy in order to um, really be able to get your point across to get people in, invested in your idea, okay? So I do feel like that there could be help for you, okay? There is an offer coming in for you um, to create this new business or this new project, whatever it is that you're wanting to, um, to, get, to get started with that, okay? All right, so is there anything else, Spirit, that we need to know for Scorpio when it comes to um, their personal, personal life, okay? Okay, let's move into um, the love ap aspect of your reading. Okay. All right. Okay. Angels of the Most High, Spirit Guides. What messages do you have for Scorpio when it comes to love? What message do you have for Scorpio when it comes to love? I'm feeling a very strong energy of someone, some of you actually, um, if you're single, I feel like someone is coming in for you. Like I feel like there's a strong pull towards something. Um, I'm also feeling for you guys too. I feel like for you, for those of you that are currently single, I feel like you're you've had a recent breakup, and I feel like there are a portion of you that may still be going through um, some things, some uh, inner turmoil, or um, some indecisiveness about wanting to move forward with someone else. I'm, I feel like some of you are okay with just being single right now. But then I have, I feel I'm picking up on another energy of some of you that are single, whether you just recently got out of a relationship or you've been single for a while, that someone is coming towards you, okay? So Romance Angels, we ask, what do you, what messages do you have for Scorpio, okay, moving forward? Let's pull some energy for the past, okay? Um, past, present, and future energies. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Yeah, I'm pulling this new love card here, and I'm going to put that. Um, I know it's kind of like a present, future energy. Um, maybe some of you are actually um, already in a relationship with this new person or just starting this relationship with a new person. 
or there are some of you that someone again is coming towards you a new love is coming towards you okay let's can we get two more cards please all right two more cards angels what else do you have to say to scorpio for the month of august 2019 okay when it comes to love and relationship um i'm feeling like some of you um need to be a bit more grateful that energy is just, it just came in really strong too. Whether it's you, you know, gratitude for self, gratitude for the person that you're currently with, but showing some gratitude towards this person. Maybe this, maybe there's someone, or maybe it's you that's, um, maybe it's you that's doing a lot and not, not receiving in return, or maybe your partner is doing a lot for you and you're not really paying attention to the little things that are making your life your lives easier on the day-to-day -day basis and you're not being in gratitude for this person, okay? So make sure that you're expressing your gratitude. <sighs> Sorry, had to get a little drink. Throat gets really dry. Make sure you're expressing your gratitude moving forward, whether you're, you've are you been in a long-term relationship or this is a new relationship for you, okay? One more card, angels. What else do you have to say to Scorpio? Okay, for the month of August. Thank you. All right. So we have here, I thought I was going to do past, present, and future energies, but Spirit was like, uh, no, you're just going to take what we give you, okay? <laughs> so I have the new love card, okay? A new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. I have the very soon card. Okay, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, and then I have the release your ex card. So again, for those, for that group of you that um, are, have, are newly single, um, it's time to release your ex, right? Um, and maybe this is part of your personal transformation, which we discussed um, prior to pulling this love, the, the love reading. Um that maybe there's a place that you're stuck in and it's time for you to move forward and just really tap into your inner truth and, and don't be afraid to really just move forward with that. So um, so for those of you that are actually open to love, there is someone coming towards you. Like I said, I'm picking up on that. I picked up on that energy of new love coming in and it's coming in very soon. And some of you just, just need to release your ex, okay? Um, I feel like I'm picking up on the, I feel like I'm picking up on the singles that are open to love or the singles who are just recently gotten out of a relationship. Um, we'll see if some energy comes, some energies come through for those that are already in a committed relationship. Okay. So, but let's focus right now on the singles. Okay. So singles here. Okay. What is this? Why is this new love card here? Spirit. Okay, what does this mean for Scorpio? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just got super excited for you guys. Okay, I have the lover's card. So, yes, clarifying this new love card is the lover's card. What? You better get it, Scorpio. Okay, so the lover's card we have, that's... Um, a, a soul, a soul, soulmate relationship. This could be a karmic relationship, or this could be some sort of twin flame relationship. But I feel like this person is coming towards you. Okay, this soulmate energy is coming towards you. Whether you, whether it's coming towards you, or it's already here. Okay, this feels like something that is divinely guided for you. Okay, I feel like there can eventually be marriage in the future as well. I feel like this person makes you so giddy, like. I feel like you guys talk every day or you text every day or you're FaceTiming or whatever timing you're doing. Um, but I feel like this connection is like so strong and so magnetic. Like you guys can't get enough of each other. Like you're like the couple on the street that people see and they're like tongues down their throat and people were like, get a room. I feel like this energy is like you with this new love. Again, whether this person is um, in your space right now or this person is coming in. There's some newness, okay, within this this energy that I'm picking up. 
Again, whether this person is coming towards you or you're already in it, this feels like something new, something exciting, something vibrant, something that makes you giddy and happy and excited and just like super fluffy and, and, and just, I, I don't know, every feeling that you can describe when it comes to you being in a new relationship with someone that you're just like really, really, really attracted to, okay? I'm going to pull two more cards. Why is the new love card here? Yeah, I feel like super, super excited when it comes to like this new love, lover's card. Like I feel like, um, I'm not going to take these. I feel like um, spirit is like blessing some of you. Maybe some of you have been waiting on this. Maybe your last relationship was shitty. Okay. Maybe you, some of you, I'm picking up the energy that you've actually never even experienced. Um, a soulmate connection and you guys both decided to come into this this pl on this planet at this time to meet each other okay you do have a soul a soul tie together of course okay but i feel like you coming in together at this time and finally meeting okay it's divinely guided okay it is meant to be okay that energy the bottom of the deck i have the sun card there's a lot of happiness there's a lot of love there's a lot of warmth okay there's a lot of joy here i feel like you can be like a kid again i feel like most of you are like able to like be yourself when when you come to this relationship I mean, while you're in this relationship, I mean, look at these cards here, the lovers and the sun when it comes to this new love that's here or are coming towards you. That is super, super, super awesome for you guys. I'm so happy for you, Scorpio. Okay. And then I also pulled the death card, but let me just point out, okay. The fact that when it comes to new love, this is a major theme in, in most of your lives. You have the lovers, the sun card, and the death card. Three major arcana cards that you're going through some sort of huge transformation when it comes to the, your romantic relationships, okay? When it comes to love. You're deserving of this, Scorpio. Spirit just wanted me to tell you that right now. Uh-oh. Okay. Spirits wanted me to tell you that right now, that you're worthy of this. Maybe some of you have, you know, been down and out and just have been in these um, sort of abusive, just um, relationships that just really didn't serve you. And you you are finally realizing your worth. And for some of you, even if you're not consciously aware of your worth, I feel like this person, okay, this new love is making you feel worthy of it, okay? So now you're starting to change your perspective on life, okay? Which is so, so beautiful. I mean, and I think this death card is actually connected to the Scorpio, the Scorpio energy. I mean, look how beautiful that is, okay? The lovers, the sun, and the death card. So some of you are definitely coming to an ending of, I feel like when it comes to your thoughts, feelings, and your emotions about what you've experienced in the past, and now you're able to fully engulf yourself in new love and be excited about it, okay? I feel like this person is making you have this transformation, okay? So, if, you know, it's it's the lovers, which is, you know, the, the sun is preceded by the death card, but it's like one of those things. I feel like this is the order, okay? The new person comes in, it, they bring you so much joy and happiness, and then you're in this thought space of, dang, I didn't. I never knew I could have this. I never knew that I'd be able to experience this, and it feels freaking amazing, okay? You better get it, Scorpio. I'm so excited for you, okay? All right, why is this very soon card here? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay? So that's that death card there, right? moving into this new love coming in for you guys very soon if they're not already here okay so we're, again we're pulling this this three of pentacles okay i still feel like there's a coming together i feel like you're able to ex to accept okay i'm feeling like i'm feeling a very strong pull this energy this three of pentacles in reverse okay i'm feeling like this is a strong strong pull to being able to accept this new, this new person that's coming in for you. Okay. What else spirit? What else do you have for me? What else do you have for us? And I feel like this could be connected to, um, this could be an earth sign. Yeah, this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay. And then we have, um, the Aries energy here. 
uh, the King of Wands. Okay. So I feel like um, for some of you, this energy of this being able to accept help. Okay. I feel like for some of you, it's being able to accept help. So maybe someone, um, for some of you, this might be someone that's a little bit older. Um, could be definitely over, over 30. Um, and I say older, like 30 is so old, but <laughs> it isn't, but this, uh, this feels like it could be someone that, um, you're connecting with that's a bit older than you. Um, but I feel like this person is very warm, very giving and caring. Um, I feel like this person that I keep hearing this person is like woke. Okay. Scorpio, you're a water sign. And if you're not, if you're, if you're not feeling the vibes of being woke yet, I feel like this person is going to help you become woke. And when I say woke, most of you know what that means, but it's being conscious, being conscious of self, being conscious of your environment, um, but being conscious of, of life period, being conscious of, of, you know, the love that's currently present in your life. I feel like this person is coming in. I feel like this person is just very, um, again, it could be an earth sign or a fire sign for some of you. Um, I feel like this person just knows what they want. Again, they're, I don't want to say they're set in their ways, but they're set in their ways and they're, and they, and it could be for good reason. Okay. They could, I just feel like they could, they're smart. They're smart. They're wise. Um, again, they're grounded. They're connected. They're a little bit older than you. They're very warm, very vibrant, very caring, very charismatic as well. Um, someone who probably is in thought a lot because they're really just trying to, to, to figure out, um, what next moves they can make to better themselves. And I feel like this is the energy that you're attracting into your space right now. Okay. Cause there's, oh yeah. Okay. So spirit just said, turn the deck over and turning the deck over is the ace of wands. So yeah, this can definitely be a fire sign. Okay. This, this again, okay. It's already clarifying that this person is coming in very soon. I mean, duh, look at that. Okay. With this, with this ace of wands here is like this person is, could be coming in fast with a lot of inspiration and creativity. I feel like this person opens you up to an, to an aspect of yourself that you, that has been untapped like untouched. And, um, I feel like, sorry. Um, I feel like this is an exciting time for you, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Maybe you're going to be putting out some of that fire with your water. I'm just saying, um, <laughs> take it how you want to take it. <laughs> okay. And then we have that group of you that needs to release their ex. Okay. The time has come to clear your energy. And maybe some of you are actually in this new love relationship, but maybe still energetically connected to an ex, or you're still thinking about an ex, or some of you are newly single and not allowing this new person to come in and you still haven't released your ex. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely for the singles. Okay. Release your ex. And then I have the, um, the nine of pentacles. Okay. So this is someone, I feel like you're single. You're currently single um, and you're currently releasing your ex, okay, whether it's energetically or just in your thoughts, your emotions, you're really trying to come out of that. I feel like you're come, it's, it's a, most, a more recent thing, but I also feel like you're open. I also feel like you're open to new love, okay? So I'm picking up on the, I'm picking up strongly on these singles that are actually open to new love and um, going through the process of releasing releasing their ex. Is there anything else that we need to know about the release your ex card? Okay. Yeah. Maybe some of you, um, maybe if you, some of you are either experiencing some chaos or you went through some chaos with this ex, or maybe this ex is still taking you through a little bit of chaos. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're currently like still moving out of your home or you're still getting into arguments or, um, I, I hope, I really hope this energy just came up, this thought just came up or this insight. I really hope that this isn't the case, but maybe for some of you, this could be some sort of abusive situation that you're really trying to walk away from. Oh man, my heart just got heavy. Okay. Let me try to get, let me get out of this energy because that feels heavy for some of you. I feel like a, a really strong pull towards just a lot of emotion of really wanting to get out of this situation 
but you just don't know how, okay? I was trying to keep this shit light, but it looks like this, I feel like there is probably some of you out there that are actually really, really going through this, really going through something of really trying to physically release them, okay? That some of you are working on energetically releasing your ex, and some of you are physically trying to work on like getting away from this person because I feel like there's just like this turmoil there that is just like very uncomfortable, very heavy energy. Okay, I just want to clarify this tower card. Why is the tower card here? Oh, everything wants to pop out. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, I feel like some of you have actually been in a karmic relationship. Okay. And karmic relationships aren't meant to last forever. Okay. They're there to teach you, teach you a lesson. And, um, and then you move on about your business. Okay. They can be, if you stay for some of, for some of you that are, that are, you know, a little bit afraid of leaving, um, this could play out longer than it is supposed to, but karmic relationships, again, aren't normally life partners. They're really just in your space to teach you something that you need to know, um, in order to move on so that you can start, begin to prepare yourself for your soulmate. Okay. And there's this devil card here too, also clarifying the tower. Okay, so there's definitely some manipulation going on. There's someone maybe dealing with some addiction, whether they're drinking or smoking or the addictions can show up in so many ways. Maybe they're addicted to just being manipulative, um, being verbally or emotionally or mentally abusive. So that energy is there. And I really, really do hope for most of you that you find the strength and the courage to move away from this, to get some help. I do understand that for some people, it is a very, very uh, touchy and very scary situation to be in um, when you're in some sort of abusive relationship. And for some people, it's just easier to stay. Um, although looking in from the outside, you would, you know, people are easy to judge. Okay. I feel like this devil card too, that people are easy to judge. Maybe some people actually do know what's going on in your relationship and they are judging you from a distance, or maybe they're judging you to your face. Okay. But you have to do it in your right timing. And we know it's easier said than done for someone to say, you have to relieve, you have to leave this abusive relationship. But when you're in it, it's completely, it's a complete, it's completely different perspective. And there's a lot of fear. It's a fear-based relationship. So it's not as easy. So I'm praying for those of you that are in that situation that are experiencing some sort of manipulation or abuse or some sort of addiction that either you or your partner are going through. Okay. All right. So what is the overall energy? Okay. I'm sorry. What is the outcome? What, out, what is the outcome for Scorpio when it comes to love for the month of August 2019? I just got excited again, so I'm out, I'm out of that energy now, um, that really heavy energy, and really focusing on, um, you know, you guys moving forward in love. Okay, am I taking all of these cards? Jesus. Am I taking these? <sighs> okay, I'm going to take them. All right, so I have the Five of Swords, okay, the outcome. I have the Three of Swords. I have the Ten of Wands, and I have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, so let's see the energy that I'm getting from these, okay? So some of you, again, are in conflict or in battle with yourself or with someone else. Okay, some of you could be experiencing some sort of heartbreak, break, some pain, some emotional trauma, going on, but I just want to let you know, for those of you, that group of you that's actually going through trying to release your ex, that, um, like the clouds are going to part. Okay. I know that you're experiencing this now and you're experiencing this conflict and this battle, and maybe you're physically, mentally, or emotionally fighting someone. Okay. I, I, that's going to go away. I know you you're feeling burdened by things that are taking place within the household. And it's just a lot of you trying to keep yourself busy because you don't want to deal with it. Okay. But just know that there are, you're, you're going to begin to internally experience new opportunities, new ideas, creative ways that you can, um, remove yourself from this. Okay. New inspiration is going to come in for you. Okay. I feel like a lot of self-reflection, a lot of mental clarity, 
clarity coming in. I feel like this gives you the opportunity of like just being mindful of what you're going through and also asking spirit how to remove yourself from that. Okay. So we have, uh, do we have an outcome for those that are actually experiencing new love? Absolutely. We do. Okay. We're just going to this ace of pentacles here. Okay. So there's an offer coming in for you. Okay. So if you have not yet experience this new person that's coming in very soon okay if you this person hasn't come yet this person is on the way and again it could be an earth sign it can also i also have a fire sign here as well but this could be an, an offer in love for from um a virgo taurus or a capricorn energy coming in for you so there is new opportunity there for you okay uh let's see if there's uh any other messages to be given to you. Um, I feel like that's it. It feels good for majority of you that are accepting the love that's coming in. Okay. You're going to have victory. Okay. This is going to be great. Okay. You could both be in the public eye, um, or people can be recognizing the new love that you're experiencing that's coming into your space. I'm super, super happy for you, Scorpio. That's very, very exciting. Okay. Thank you again. I hope you liked this video. hope it resonated with you. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up, please. I would be forever grateful for you. Share with your friends, Scorpio, because you are winning in August, okay? Some of you are just winning. It's very exciting energy, okay? So share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell below, okay? Many blessings to you and love and light, and I'll chat with you soon, Scorpio. Thanks. Bye-bye.